Okay guys, now this is uh, something a little bit different. Mm, I think some of you might not be aware of, the, aware of this situation where so you, you will see that there are a few sort of shiny patches on that ceiling. And what that is, is the, the previous paint obviously is flat paint. And I had a, a few repairs and spot prime those with uh, Smart Prime. And the Smart Prime is a little bit shinier than the original ceiling paint. And that's what, that, like, so, so I haven't top coated it yet. But, um, you know, depending on the kind of ceiling paint you use, you might find that that shininess that sort of sheen will actually show through the top coats okay so if you, if you use a flat top coat then no matter how many coats of top coat you put on there you might still be able to notice that that little shiny area those those shiny repair spots and that is called flashing. So the the sort of shinier paint underneath is flashing through the flat top coat. And I've noticed like this definitely was the case with um, older kind of ceiling paints uh, up to a few months ago. But I noticed that the latest version of the Dulux ceiling white. I noticed that um, it, it's it's an improved uh, paint, and it seems to have a better cohesion or something. I'm not too sure what it is, but it's still a very flat paint. But once you put the top coat on, a couple of coats would hide that shine of the underlying undercoat. In in most cases, I mean, especially the Smart Prime, because that's only matte; it's not even low sheen. Whereas some of the some of the uh, undercoats out there are actually almost semi-gloss, um, so that would be really shiny, and they might show through. But yeah, just something to be aware of. You might have noticed it in your travels uh, with painting, but uh, again, you may not have. Um, just something to be aware of. Um, you know. Some like some customers might not be fussy about that sort of stuff, but I remember when I started, and I I didn't know what was going on, and I ended up putting about six coats of ceiling paint on a on a on a ceiling repair, and it still wasn't wasn't covering, and I just ended up I just gave up eventually because I had no idea what was going on, and uh, you know after eventually what what I what I've learned to do. When, that, when I was doing ceiling repairs and I had to use some sort of a, like a shiny kind of undercoat, for example, to seal stains, like water stains, then what I would do, I would actually go over that shiny undercoat with a flat undercoat. Uh, there's not many of those out there nowadays, but... Uh, I don't know, Dulux still make one, the Dulux uh, professional uh, acrylic wallboard sealer or whatever they call it. That's a uh, pretty flat or as flat as, flat as you're going to get undercoat and uh, that eliminates that underlying shine of, of the previous uh, sealer. Okay. But nowadays uh, it seems that, that it's not really necessary um, because the top coat ha has been improved uh, to such extent that and as far as I could tell, I mean I might still be wrong, maybe I just uh, haven't paid enough attention in my recent jobs, but as far as I could tell it, it, was, it provided pretty good uh, coverage even over these sort of shiny undercoats but I'll update this video if I find if I find that that's still not the case. Alrighty, I might see you soon.